Dear viewers, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change form. The principle that many of us read in school textbooks is now unfolding in a powerful way, defining how we power homes, cities, and the economy. The sun and wind are becoming the backbone of India's energy story. In FY25, India added 34 gigawatts of power to rest. The most telling part, a staggering 29.5 gigawatt of that came from renewable sources, mostly solar and wind. The country's installed renewable capacity now stands at near 220 gigawatt, and the government has its sights set on 500 gigawatt by 2030. But here is a challenge with the nature. It does not follow our schedule. The sun does not shine at night, and sometimes not even during the day, and the wind doesn't blow on demand. This is where the next big opportunity in the energy sector is emerging, energy storage. To turn inconsistent renewable energy resource into a reliable source of power, we need a way to store the energy we produce. The solution, battery energy storage systems, or BES. Without BES, clean energy rise would just be reduced to a constant. BES takes excess electricity when it is abundant and stores it for times when the grid needs it the most. This isn't just about backup during power cuts. Battery systems help buildings with solar panels use their own energy at night. They help reduce pressure on the grid when the demand surges at once. They also perform complex tasks like stabilizing voltage and frequency on the power grid. Without storage, the shift to renewables would hit a wall. India recognizes this. Every new solar project in the country is now required to include co-located energy storage with enough battery capacity to store at least two hours worth of 10% of the installed solar capacity. Sounds technical? Well, the bottom line is, the storage is not optional anymore, it is integral and mandatory. But are best projects why? Well, increasingly yes. The cost of lithium-ion batteries, which power most best today, has crashed in the recent years. Innovations, improved supply chains, and mass production have all contributed to making these systems more affordable. The government too is putting its money where its mouth is, offering viability gap funding to support up to 30% of the capital costs for storage projects. What does this mean for the market? Well, a massive runway for growth. India's National Electricity Plan aims for 47 gigawatt of battery energy storage by 2032. For context, the current installed capacity is just 300 megawatt. That's a projected growth of over 150 times in under a decade. As per the industry players, by 2030, the Indian best market could reach $32 billion, growing at a compound annual rate of 27%. This shift is already beginning to show in the markets. Established names in the power generation and renewable energy are either entering or expanding their storage portfolios. Tata Power, JSW Energy, Adani Green, NHPC, KPI, Green Energy, Starling and Wilson, and Ecne Solar are all making moves in this direction. But the real intrigue lies in the less obvious names. Advet Infratech, for example, is a company that primarily operates in telecom and power transmission infrastructure. It has quietly announced plans to develop 1 gigawatt worth of battery energy storage projects over the next 5 years. Bondada Engineering, SME, a small but nimble player, has emerged as the lowest bidder for a best project for Telangana Genco, worth Rs 2.4 billion, and it is eyeing a pipeline of projects worth Rs 10 billion. For IEX, storage increases its relevance. BES allows energy to be charged and discharged at optimal times, increasing energy liquidity on the exchanges and potentially boosting volumes. And then there are players like Jupiter Vegas, best known for making rail freight vehicles. It has diversified into electric mobility and has now received orders for full fledged battery energy storage systems. Quality Power Electrical Equipments recently acquired a majority stake in Stepcon Energy, a domestic power electronics manufacturer whose offerings include BES. Himadri Specialty Chemicals is working on key lithium-ion battery materials and boasts of backward integration, a rare edge in this space. Similarly, PCBL is developing ultra-conductive battery chemicals and helping build a local supply chain for battery materials. These companies may not be traditional energy giants, but they are positioning themselves for tomorrow's market. For investors, that spells opportunity. 
But of course, no big opportunity emerges without its fair share of risks, and there are some real risks to consider. Technological disruptions in different cell chemistries, for instance. And then there is China, producing around 75% of lithium ion batteries. This creates exposure to geopolitical and supply disruptions and competition risks. Government policy, though supportive now, can change course, and scaling best projects comes with execution risks. Still, it's an interesting emerging space to watch out for. It may not be long before it becomes as essential as the energy it stores. The time to pay attention is not when everyone is already on board, it is when the pieces just start to come together. That's where we are with the best. So, stay alert. If you found this information useful, do press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.